What is up guys, it's your boy Kylo Lolo. Today I'm bringing you sort of a new video formatting. I'm going to try to be uh, voicing this over. So in this video today, I'll be teaching you how to get Minecraft on a Chromebook. And there's a lot of different steps to this, so just pay attention, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to check the specs of our Chromebook. So we go to this link here, it's Chrome internal, system internals, and we check. We check the number of cores. You guys see my Chromebook right now, I have four cores under the number of cores, it says four. That's the CPU. And then go to memory, that's the RAM. So then you see I have 3.72 gigabytes worth of RAM. So my specs right now are like so-so. They're not like great, but they're not like complete garbage either. So then now we know the specs, right? We wanna to go to settings, open up settings, and go to advanced and developers. So when we go to developers, you'll see I'm the developers with Linux, Linux beta. So we want to turn that on. Let's turn it on. It'll wait a bit after you fill out all this and then you can set your username to whatever. And then if you change the amount of storage, I recommend at least 10 gigabytes if you have a 64 gigabyte Chromebook. But I set mine to around 15. So after you, initial, you install Linux and you wait a bit. So at this point, if you're wondering where all the links are, I'll link them down in the description with written out steps basically step by step. And also, if you're wondering what the specs were for that I checked in the beginning of my Chromebook, it's because you need certain specs for Minecraft to run. I recommend what I have, four cores and four gigabytes of RAM. If you have anything less, don't try to install it and stop right now. After that Linux has installed, you should see this screen pop up. It should be a black screen with some text on it with your username that you set before. So that will come in handy later. So now we wanna to go to the Minecraft official website and go to alternate downloads. I'll put this again, I'll put this in the description again. So we go to the alternate downloads and then we scroll till we find the one that says Debian slash Ubuntu and download it. It should say minecraft.deb. And then remember, most important step, download to your Linux files. I repeat, download it to your Linux files. After it has been downloaded, go to your files, go to Linux files and double click the DEB or the dev. This screen should pop up when you press install and okay. While you're downloading the launcher, you're most likely going to encounter this error message. It's called error while installing or error occurred while installing something similar. So once you click on that, this image on the Google lock should show up. Do not worry. The, the solution to this is this um, code here that we're going to put in that black window that popped up before. So that black, that black window, I'm going to refer to as the, the terminal. First, do sudo apt update and then paste the code in. And then after the sudo apt update finishes, like on the one on the screen, and paste in the other one. It says sudo apt get update and then blah, 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 blah. Wait like a few minutes and then it should be good. I'll fast forward the process in the video. Now, um, after it finished, now we want to go back to our files and go to the Minecraft tip and press install. It should work now as you see the progress for loading. Wait a bit for it to finish downloading. And after finish downloading, you should see a screen pop up. A screen should say, Minecraft launcher, or in this case, it will say, wait for it, wait for it. Launch, press launch, I mean, and then you should see a screen pop up and say updating launcher, or maybe just Minecraft launcher pops up right away. Wait for that to update. It should, it should close up by itself after it finishes updating. And then go to, um, notification here, you press double click the installation thing and it should pop up. Sign into your Minecraft account. And there we go, we're in. Oh, uh, if you see that, if you see this, um, like choose a password for new queuing, there's two options you could do. You just spam cancel like I'm doing right now, and you get, it'll get rid of it by itself and it'll finish loading, or you can set a password yourself. Every time you might be prompted to enter the password, but that's 
only if you in, uh, uninstall Linux again, but it should be fine if you set the keyring password. See, now it works. Oh uh, 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 yeah, a warning. You might not be able to play past 1.8.9 or it'll just around the versions around it because um, the newer versions like 1.17, 1.16 take too much processing power because they're like bigger files and more things to process in the computer. So stick to the lower versions like 1.8.9 so you play on high pixel. And then, yeah, just press cancel again and then you can play 1.8.9. There we go, it loaded. I go to multiplayer. I'm gonna hop on the Hypixel to show you how it actually works. mc.hypixel.net. Let's go. I'm hopping on. So, right now you might see me on screen going to um, like options and trying to change all the options to like lower things so it all runs more smooth. That is also because we're on a Chromebook, so we want to play at the lowest settings we can. So that's why it's also a good idea to play on Optifine. Optifine lets you customize more settings and lets you lower other settings so it can run more smoothly. If I use, when I usually use Optifine, I get like 50 frames per second, but if I use the regular Minecraft launcher, I use, I get like 30. So if you're interested in Optifine, check out my other video, which I made on Optifine, and I'll show you the perfect settings and how to download. It's two different videos. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and press that notification bell so you get all the notifications from my channel. If you like more videos like this, I'll make more. And if you really want to support me, then uh, I guess you could subscribe. Also, I got a Twitter. So if you feel free to um, follow me on Twitter, I'll just be posting some random stuff. Thank you. Bye.